uh, contact form uh, for Mobirise. <coughs> now, to install it on your site, all you need to do is simply insert an HTML block where you want your contact form. So let's insert a HTML block. So insert that where you want your form to be. Okay. Now we open the block and we zap everything that's in there and in the CSS. Okay, now in your package that you received, you will see a folder called code for, for, for the page. And the first one is the code for the contact form HTML block. So open that in Notepad or Notepad++. Select all, copy and paste into the HTML editor and we have our contact form. Secondly we go to page and we go to the page settings and what we're looking for is the end of body code and then in our whoops, in our folder again we have another text document that says code to add to page end of code, uh, code the page code. So we copy the code that's there and we, whoops, it should have stayed on the page there, and we paste that into the body code. Okay, our page is now set up, so we can then publish the page to our website. Okay, so that's published. So now the second thing we need to do is in the folder you will see upload files. So open the folder and go to the mail res folder and open contact me PHP in either notepad or notepad plus plus and you will see at the top there is this uh, set up the email addresses here. So the first email address you're setting up is the, the one that's going to send the email address. So you just change that without changing the inverted commas to your web address that you want to send the mail from. Now this must normally be the an email address that is set up on your domain for where you're going to host your um, your site. Um, if it's not, your host may prevent it from sending mail. So you set up that one and then the email to receive the uh, emails from the contact form. Okay, that's it. So now we save that. And then finally, you go back to the upload files directory and log into your um, website with, FTP, with an FTP client like FileZilla. And in, the, in your website's root folder, it opens. Let's try again. There we go. Um, in that folder, you need to copy the JRES and the upload files, the JRES folder and the mail res folder. So you copy those.
to your folder. Okay, so now we're all set up. So now if we browse to our file, our website, we do all these. So we browse to our website and let's have a look at the page. We have our contact form now. So we can, if we don't enter anything, then we will get a warning to say we haven't entered a message. So we enter your name. We can test it now. Um, your email address, phone is optional, and the message. Okay, so there is our message, and then we click send message. We get a message to say that the message is being sent, and then we get one to say it's been sent. So now we have our email that has come, and here we are. There is the content of the email. So it, the subject is web contact from and the person who submitted it. Um, the reply to is their email address, so you can just hit reply and reply to the user. And you have received a message from your website contact form here. The details it was from Steve Richards, um, email address, phone number if they've entered it, the message, and their IP address. So you can check for spamming or scammers. And that's it, that's that simple. Okay, enjoy.